Peter's in Aberdeen. Peter, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Hi there. On you go, then. Well, I think, as usual with Britain, our whole effort in Iraq is being obstructed by the fact that we have a queen as head of state rather than a competent president. So we need to deal with the general problem of the royalist fascist police state. And we need to start bringing in intelligent Republicans, such as myself, to run the military. Well, hang on, what difference would this make? Well, I've got a whole list of different ideas. Well, don't give me a whole list, but give me, give me just the, 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 the overall idea of, of what difference this would make. Well, I'll deal with some specifics. For example, we should be defending the Iraqi constitution. We should not be defending the Iraqi government where it varies from the constitution. So, for example, we have intelligence. Um, American intelligence, which indicates that the, uh, for example, the health minister uh, is deeply implicated in um, assassinations happening within his own health ministry. Uh, so that he should be arrested. Um, and he's, uh, people like Mokhtar al-Sadr, um, you had a, the, the Iraqi prime minister was meeting with him. He's deeply implicated with uh, the, the militias in the death squad. He should be arrested or assassinated. But would that not just make the situation worse? No, no, what makes the situation worse is, is political leaders who are deeply opposed to the idea of democracy, who are, who are trying to fight a war, um, either openly or surreptitiously, w with the forces who are trying to bring democracy. Will democracy only survive by our troops staying there, do you think? Well, look how, how long our troops have been in Germany. We've still got um, a lot of troops. I don't know if it's quite as much as we've got in Iraq. We've got a lot of troops in Germany today. Yeah, but they're not keeping the peace or, or trying to keep uh, democracy alive in Germany, are they? Well, they're, um, they're merely based there for strategic reasons. Well, uh, one of the strategic reasons is we, we, we need to keep uh, Germany on side for democracy. The point is, it, it, it's a long-term uh, um, uh, effort. Now, uh, Germany brings up another interesting point. We should, we should be executing Saddam Hussein. We should not be giving this uh, Iraqi incompetent government, which doesn't defend its own constitution, which doesn't really believe in democracy, we should not be giving them the credit of executing Saddam. That should be done by us, by the Americans and maybe somebody like Condi Rice presiding over that execution. Is there credit in executions? Absolutely. After all, the, the Iraqis have had a court. They've, they've decided that um, that's uh, what they want to do. That's what we did to the Nazi top w w war criminals at the Nuremberg war, uh, war crime. So we, we need to be doing that. We need to be saying we are the ones that history is going to say uh, the, the finish with Saddam Hussein. If we allow um, Maliki and Mokhtar al-Assad to take credit for that, they're going to write the history books and say, we, we dealt with Saddam when he didn't. Okay, Peter, thank you very much for that.